ladies and gents. Got to talk about Comet, my uh, latest acquisition. That in a little bit. Um, I'm going to talk about why I love it, and um, that might be a strong reason for a lot of you out there, guys and gals, um, for you not to get it. Um, so, like I said in my previous, don't blind buy this. Um, do not. It's way too expensive. I'm happy to have gotten lucky and um, got 15% off. It was uh, specifically, it was Bloomingdale's that was running it in the fragrance section and Chanel. Um, and I saw that as an opportunity. I've been saving up till then, sorry about the chair, I still have not found my can of WD-40 and I haven't replaced it yet. But uh, um, that's a spot of tea, a uh, bit of honey, a bit of honey. Now, I love powdery fragrances and I like vanilla a lot. Um, I even like uh, baby powder, like the memory of Johnson and Johnson's baby powder. Um, and if, if that right off the bat turns you off, I do not recommend uh, getting a uh, Comet. Um, I do recommend you uh, sniffing it and getting a sample at a Chanel boutique, obviously. Um, but uh, it's way too expensive. I would say, in general. Um, so, right off the top blast, I get this uh, very pretty um, imagined cherry blossom note along with uh, the nutty heliotrope that I don't know too much about perfumery, but I, I know that um, Olivier Polge of Chanel works that heliotrope very well, uh, I think. So that, that, that gives a, a big or strong almond facet. And along with um, that, uh, that pseudo uh, sakura blossom, that cherry blossom, it gives it um, kind of like a magical stardusty uh, trail, um, pixie dust, if you if you will. Okay, um, yeah, just uh, imagine pixie dust. And that's off the top. Now, the nuttiness, and then there's some violet in here. That will. Um, That'll make it easily doable for a uh, male fragrance enthusiast, in my opinion, and, and, and mixing with your own sweat, as usual. Um, I have no problem with it. Again, I love powder, and I'm a big fan of uh, Johnson's Baby Powder. And mix that with vanilla. I mean, in general, that's what I get in the dry down. And this dry down, I mean, this card I'll keep, I will not, I mean, for days around, I'll put it in my bathroom because it, it, it'll, it'll, um, scent up this whole desk and the whole room. I'll keep it by my couch where I'm reading and I really enjoy it. And, but again, I like, uh, I like my vanilla. fragrances so keep that in mind if you're thinking about um, getting Comet because uh, it, it's not a uh, not a slam dunk but I sure do love it
I love the almond facet and um, and the idea of the cherry blossom and it it gives us this pink uh, image and yeah you can you can um, you can get cherry out of it easily you don't have to think too much uh, but um, I'm pretty sure that Sakura or Japanese cherry blossom does not have a uh, scent and a lot of flowers don't uh, a lot of flowers so give me some feedback on your experience your early experience with um, Chanel Comet and ask me any questions um, you, you have in your head I, I, I'd be happy to uh, com communicate and uh, maybe help somebody out uh, with this uh, Dang. So I like it even more as it gets along, but it's it's nutty right off the bat, and that gives it its sweetness. And in my opinion, the vanilla sticks out. It kind of is a new kind of less, less exclusive, in my opinion, um, a new kind of uh, a vanilla. Even though Chanel uses vanilla um, all over the place, I don't think this pronounced though. So. Very friendly fragrance, um, low key, doesn't, sh doesn't it's not shouting, wear it anywhere, um, in a girly girl dress, or uh, jeans and a t-shirt, um, you know, macho male even. Uh, oh yeah, in terms of uh, you guys out there, you never thought twice of uh, in the summertime uh, dousing yourself with powder you know to keep dry and you like the smell talcum powder baby powder um and maybe someone told you oh you smell good in that very uh, freshly laundered um shirt um and i'm not saying that this smells like uh, laundry but it gives that that clean fresh uh powdery feeling of um of a clean shirt and that um guys definitely do well um, with that in terms of um, people around them, their family and friends. So think of it that way. And um, if you like Iris, well, you'll you'll like it in here and the aldehydes, all the Chanel aldehydes in here. So I recommend you try it, um, girl or guy, if you are a fragrance enthusiast. Um, but the big things are uh, powder and vanilla in my in my point of view, and it's sweet. Um, but the uh, the make or break, I believe, is uh, going to be the powder. Uh, the uh, iris, everyone's going to love, um, and maybe some people will have a problem with uh, an uh, overabundance of a nutty accord. But uh, I'm going to put this in the reach uh, of another. Olivier Polge that I love, and that's Queer Beluga of Guerlain, and uh, that's a vanilla, and and um, yeah, that's a leather vanilla, and it's kind of low key, understated, but it's awesome. I don't know if I'll ever think as highly of this as I do of Queer Beluga, but you don't know; it's so early in the game. So I just got this but I've spent time with it. I spent time with these uh, sprayed samples all around my house. And, you know, they they just last. So it has great lasting power. It just gives off a, um, a clean, powdery, uh, washed um, vibe for a guy. And a girl, a gal... Uh, yeah, pixie dust, sweet vanilla, and a nice dress, and any kind of dress you can imagine. So, let me know what you think, and, um, you know, if you've smelled it, and if you spend time with it, and if you are thinking about uh, getting a sample of this, um, like, again, ask me any questions. I'll be happy to uh, lend you my humble opinion, so... That'd be it. Back to my honey. 
and T. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy I got this. So it's, it's topping off my collection for now. Um, and, you know, it's bookending my, my collection right now. And, yeah, be, be happy that I'm, I got this and I don't want anything else in the near future. And just uh, going to get to know it like my other fragrances. So, all right, talk to me later. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time and uh, your attention. See you.